Happy Mind Day! Another brand new week lays ahead us with new possibilities to make your life into what you wish. Book Summary The Mindful Way True Depression by Mark Williams, John Teasdale, Zindel Siegel, and John Cabot Zinn. Learn methods to manage depression and improve emotional health. Are you tired of the never-ending cycle of depression, where past regrets and future worries consume your thoughts? In today's book summary The Mindful Way Through Depression, we'll look at mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, which combines cutting-edge cognitive psychology with timeless meditative wisdom. You'll discover the power of mindfulness as you learn to observe thoughts and feelings without judgment. Plus, we'll guide you through practical exercises to kickstart your journey. Depression can keep you in a cycle of negativity, but mindfulness offers a way out. Depression doesn't have to rule your life, your path to emotional well-being starts here. Understanding the Maze of Depression Picture yourself at the entrance of a vast maze, shrouded in fog. That's what depression can feel like. If you live with depression, you're not alone, around 12% of men and 20% of women will face major depression at some point in their lives. To help you navigate the depression maze, we'll study its complex pathways together, learn what happens when we're depressed, and discover how personal growth can prevent depression from developing from common sadness. Why are we comparing it to a maze? Well, depression isn't a straight path, it's more like a multi-layered puzzle. It includes emotions, thoughts, physical sensations, and behaviors. Sometimes, when you think you've got the lay of the land, a trigger sends you off course, and before you know it, you're right back where you started. As a result, we're unable to fight depression because failure usually makes us feel even worse. To illustrate this point, let's zoom into the heart of the maze, where shadows of self-doubt and self-criticism lurk. For people with depression, it feels impossible to move through the dark using only a flickering flashlight, and that's the essence of depression, it muddles simple decisions, casting shadows not only on your mind, but your body too. Ever felt tired after a full night's sleep? The aches, the endless fatigue, they're not just after effects. They feed the flames of depression. Think about it this way, a low mood spirals into negative thoughts, which then saps the body of energy creating a cycle that's tough to break. By now, you might be thinking, this is a lot. So let's pause and recap, emotions, thoughts, bodily sensations, behaviors, they're all interlinked pathways in the depression maze. However, there is a way out. So how do we get there? We start by transforming our understanding of the maze itself. By delving deeper, we can harness mental strength and light our path to freedom. Now that we've begun to map the intricacies of depression, what's our next move? How do we shift our perspective and summon the strength to move forward? We'll cover that in the next section. The Power of Mindfulness Let's start this section with a simple truth, it's human to feel unhappy. But sometimes, our reactions to unhappiness make matters worse. Have you ever noticed that when you're feeling down, old negative memories come flooding back? It's like opening the door to one unwelcome guest, only to see they've invited all their gloomy friends. Suddenly, every past sorrow and regret comes pouring in, turning yesterday's drizzle into today's storm. When gloom refuses to leave, we instinctively want to fight it off, seeing it as a villain. However, by doing this, we unknowingly switch on our analytical mode, which makes us think about the same thing over and over again. Now you're stuck replaying the source of your pain, its implications, and potential solutions. But here's the deal, emotions, with all their complexities, aren't equations waiting to be solved. So, what if we look at this from a different angle? What if, instead of wrestling with our feelings, we just sat with them? Here's where the concept of being or mindfulness comes in. Imagine, for a moment, stepping back from the turmoil in your head and just observing, not judging, and feeling your emotions without the urge to scrutinize them. Mindfulness is the art of immersing oneself fully in the present moment. It's a deliberate act of tuning into life as it unfolds, choosing to experience it in its purest form. 
Rather than getting lost in thoughts, mindfulness celebrates the tangible, the touch of a gentle wind or the taste of chocolate on the tongue. In this practice, there's no room for judgment, there's only acceptance of what exists in the now without labeling it as good or bad. I know what you're thinking, can this really alleviate depression? Well, yes. Practicing mindfulness has proven effective at avoiding negative thought spirals. Instead of being passengers on a turbulent journey, we can take control of the wheel. In other words, we can learn to experience the world without obeying our inner critic. While we can't avoid unhappy moments, we can change our relationship with them. Instead of allowing sadness to fester, we can allow it to pass, and understand that emotions, like seasons, change often. You might be thinking, easier said than done. That's okay. Next, we'll discuss some mindfulness techniques. Developing Mindfulness Through Breathing Ever wonder why you often feel disconnected from the present, lost in a whirlwind of thoughts? A feeling of separation is all too familiar for those suffering from depression. The solution may be simpler than you think, and it's right under your nose, literally. Let's do a short exercise. Sit comfortably and tune into the rhythmic flow of your breath. Now, every time your thoughts start to wander, and they will, gently bring your attention back to your breathing. This process will not only calm your mind, but will improve your ability to be present. What's fascinating is that your breath is more than just a physiological act. It's an anchor, a constant in the ebb and flow of your thoughts and emotions. You might also want to try mindful walking. While you do this, pay attention to every step and sensation. From how your clothing feels on your skin, to the wind brushing your hair. Mindful walking is mindfulness in motion. Instead of getting lost in your thoughts, you focus on physical sensations. There's no need to get caught up in the journey. Take it one step at a time to give your mind a rest. There's something particularly important to note here. Mindfulness practice is not about wrestling to take control of your mind. It's more about observing and understanding your thought patterns. Staying present will help you identify mental habits that aren't serving you. The presence that gently arises is game-changing. Staying curious about our experiences helps us avoid those familiar pathways of pain. Those are the paths that can send us into unhappy spirals. The act of returning to the present moment with patience, whether through mindful breathing or walking, has the potential to change our relationship with our emotions. It's like a key that unlocks a door and leads us away from sadness. So, whether you're focusing on your breath while sitting quietly or feeling the ground beneath your feet while walking, Mindfulness offers a way to anchor yourself to the present. By observing without judgment and continuously returning to the moment, you're not just calming your mind, you're becoming aware. Now that you have a grasp of these